Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Get ready for the most frustrating, difficult stage in the entire game. 10-6. The door code is 023000, which translates to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. This stage right here... It could take up the entirety of this part, and then some. First, you've got this super fast auto-scrolling segment that you cannot get off the edge of the screen on. If you want to keep yourself steady so that you don't float downwards or upwards or whatever, hold right. Yeah, and also be sure to hold your swim button, otherwise you will float... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. And also, you must time yourself to get in the doors before you get smashed on the wall. Also, you gotta hop out of water here. <laughs> These little short bunny hops. That, yeah, oh shoot, that's pretty much the run killer right there. Because this place is also, I mean, this level is also really, really stingy with time. <laughs> Uh, especially with how many things in this area are there to stall you. Oh no 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 no! Gotta go low, gotta go low. Uh, see, uh, it's just there's just you know, right here. You gotta go all the way up and get the door. <laughs> Over here, this this is another thing that stalls you a lot. Uh, these crates. Yeah, there's there's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> And right here, and this right here makes you think you want to do the shooting star move, but no, 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 definitely star spin. Because there's a bottomless pit right there. Granted, you could do the shooting star move right here, you know, down the left side, but it's still probably slower than just you doing the star spin and then holding right so you end up on this ledge overall. At least I think so, perhaps. It, it's always worked for me, so I'm not really complaining. <laughs> Anyway, just keep zigzagging here. Obviously, I'm not going for um, the time this first run here because this is pretty much just practice to get reused to the stage, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, especially since I kind of flubbed up that other segment and whatnot. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have many tries as I need to get through this monstrosity of a level. Now over here you want to go to the left, and another thing that could stall you, if you don't slide under both those, I mean, that two square area, yeah, you're gonna have some issues. And if you fall, oh no no no, if you fall down this hole here, you're gonna have to restart the entire segment. <laughs> so try and, oh no no! Try and make yourself as efficient as possible there without falling in the hole because that is yet another run killer. And look at this, I'm not even trying to speed run the level and it's still getting the better of me just because of this level's high difficulty. <laughs> they, they put you in very awkward positions the whole way and there's not an easy spot to, like anywhere in this level. Like these crate destroying segments. If you, do, if you don't hit them high enough, you're going to fall down. Um, those uh, star spin crate falling segments like here, if you don't know where you're going, uh, you're going to be stuck in the wall or you're going to fall in the hole. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, this level is something else, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm already past the uh, um, time threshold, by the way. Uh, but I'm just giving you a tour of this level here. Uh, over here, you probably want to just run forward, despite the fact that you're going to be chased by Hot Fudge Sundays the whole way, yeah. Uh, it, it just said you're as fast as the Sundays, and you can typically get through them without um, much worry. Uh, here, this is rather precise jumping, believe it or not, uh, despite how it looked there, because you can only just barely get over, over them at the height of your jumps. Yeah. And over here, yeah, you've actually got barrel cannons with spikes all around you. <laughs> and there we go. You might want to land and then do a shooting star attack straight down. But yeah, <laughs> that right there is the difficulty of 10-6. But I didn't want to do this on my first try anyway, because I wanted to go over to 10-7 to show you the door that I was talking about with the codes and stuff like that, plus to do sort of a build-up to what's coming. Do you feel the energy coming from that door? 
Holy poopers! Starfy, don't do it! There's something way more powerful than mash do in there! I don't like that look on your face. It looks says that you're going in anyway. What's that, Starfy? You're saying you have to go? Alright, alright. No stopping you once you have your mind set to something, eh? I mean, mind to something. Once you set your mind to something, eh? Okay, but you better see this through to the end. Don't go giving up on my Starf. No matter how hard it gets, stick with it to the end. If I can't take you out, of <clears throat> if I can't talk you out of it, then get going. Be careful, Starfy. All right. So once you approach this door, your little cutscene, a powerful presence can be felt from the other side of this tightly sealed door. There's something written on the door, and here are the level codes that I've been talking about since the start of stage 10. And there you all see that 10 dash. 10-6 is the one. Uh, see, if you put a decimal point um, before the last two numbers, and then a colon after the first two numbers, you get basically the timer. Uh, so yeah, it's 2 minutes, 30 seconds. This must be some kind of code. Not a very difficult code to crack, especially since, you know, there's a timer on all levels, and those lo uh, numbers look exactly like the timer, except without decimals and colons, yeah. Anyway, let's let's get out of here. I'm a little bit frightened just staying around there. The energy is just too powerful. <sighs> All right, we gotta do 10-6 anyway before that door opens, and we gotta do it in under two minutes and 30 seconds. Come on, Xbox D-pad, don't fail me now. <laughs> All right, so focus very hard on what's on the right side. Restart. <laughs> Focus very hard on what's on the right side of the screen and aim yourself towards whatever gap you see. There are only a few unfair spots in the first two auto scroll segments, but you've got to have a pretty smooth run in order to get to the end within the time frame. And as I showed you, this stage is ridiculously hard. I mean, it might not look like hard, but because of the game's, like, the way the game controls and the physics of it and whatnot, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's designed around your controls, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see if I can get through the auto scroll segments without getting squished, please. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I forgot where I was supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Alright, I'll eventually get this. I, I typically like showing my runs. Maybe not in their entirety if it gets too excessive, but I mean, I typically like showing all the runs that I have to show you the toil that you might have to go through to defeat a stage such as this. Um, so I probably won't use cuts unless I die a lot in this, I should say, if, unless I fail a lot in this stage. Anyway, hop! And keep looking at the right side, PK. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That was... I swear, not me, because I, I don't have issues with D-pads otherwise. Well, it probably was me, because, you know, it's still me controlling ye old Xbox D-pad. But still, D-pad should not be like this. <laughs> should just be able to hold a direction, be able to feel that direction, and hold it in place without worrying about flopping over in some other direction. <laughs> Forgot where I was supposed to go. <laughs> I think I'm losing composure here. Just calm down. Calm yourself. It's just 10-6. The hardest stage in the game. No, no pressure. <laughs> Alright. Just relax. Look towards the right. Just meditate. Meditate your way. Through the death. You only need one decent run. That's all you need. One decent run. Think of any relaxation that you possibly can do. Bob Ross's voice. Your favorite song. Anything. Although this song is pretty energetic. Just keep focusing on the relaxation. 
Just keep looking ahead. Don't let yourself get squished. Go up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> Alright. I finally got a run that I didn't get squished in. So this, this could be the run that I beat this godforsaken stage. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Just don't, don't fall. Don't fall. I know it. It, it, you, you're tempted to go forward very quickly, but don't. <laughs> I mean, yes, go quickly, but not too quick that you mess things up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying here. The, the time is sort of generous, but yet it's not that generous. But, I mean, it, it is definitely tight, but the thing is that the stage itself is the thing that stalls you. Like, ah, that there. That could... Well, maybe it won't kill the run. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Gotta get further off. Yeah, there we go. Get that. No, no! <laughs> and I opened my Xbox. <laughs> Click for help pad by hitting the center when I hit, hit the start button. <laughs> That's why I had to click back up on the screen there, because I had to click outside um, to close the Xbox thing, because it actually disables the controller for some reason. I don't know why that does that. Anyway... <laughs> Come on, PK Gam. Just one good run. That's all you need. It's this first segment and that crate segment that I fell in twice now that because it's so hard to destroy crates forward with your star spin when you don't have I mean when you're not in water and and they know that that's why they designed that seg that segment like that because they wanted you to master um, getting momentum off of your star spin and anyway all right made it through the auto scroll segment again <sighs> All right, looking good, looking pretty good. I jump up there to give myself some downward momentum. Um, I don't know if it helps all that much, but I think it does because it lets me speed downward when I do my star spin. Uh, oh, can I get through? Yes, okay. You can get through when there is a two square opening, it's just you risk hitting your head, and I probably shouldn't have risked that in all honesty. Because I could have fell back down, and I didn't destroy the crates on that side, so I would have had to restart the whole level. But it worked out, so let's let's not dwell on that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, good, good, very good. Now this right here, this right here. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Okay, this could be it. This could... <laughs> this... Please. This could be the run. This could be the run. Even though I'm taking a few hits here, it's not not gonna be a run killer because of how smooth I got that last segment. This could very well be it. Just keep concentration. Don't let the Xbox D-pad be your downfall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes! I did it! I have speedrun everyone of these stages. Ten dash seven. No door code. You can take as long as you need to complete the stage, even though no. it's a time attack stage. Oh, oh, the presence. But the door is open. Do I dare go inside? Do I dare? I must. I must see through this to the very end. Here we go. Pretty quiet, peaceful area. It's pretty open. Pretty calm. Water's nice, bluish color. Hey, old man Lava, how's it going? A clock, lady clock. Well, well, well. If it isn't Starfy, I've been waiting for you, son. You would learn a lot if you made it this far. Good. What are you talking about? 
So how about it? You reckon that you're ready for the final challenge? Are you ready? Um, no, I'm kind of afraid. Well, if you're feeling confident, then I reckon it's better to wait. Okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> uh, oh, you're gonna repeat yourself? Really? Hmm. I'm kind of surprised by that. Alright, I'm ready. That's the spirit. I'm gonna going easy on you. Give me all you got. What? What are you talking about? I once helped your old pappy papa star defeat a big baddie named Ogura. There's even a legend or two about us bringing peace to Puff Top that time. So step up, kid. If you knew, think you're ready to face Master Lobber Lackety! <laughs> Master Lobber is the king of fighters and by far the most powerful boss in the game. Yeah, he, that first segment that he does there, he just sh shoots himself right towards you and you've got, he's got a projectile attack, actually two projectile attacks, he's got that one and he's got this one right here and you gotta dodge between the, that's not usually that easy, I assure you. <laughs> And every time you take a hit from him, it takes off two damage, I mean two HP from your heart gauge. So you can only take five hits in this fight. And I'm doing pretty well here. Oh, I just spoke too soon. Now look out for this attack. This is gonna kill you in one hit if it hits you. Oh god, it's really hard to dodge. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it got me. <laughs> ah! Black <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> I'm almost glad I got hit by that. <laughs> I was gonna show you show you that anyway, but I wasn't intending on uh, uh, getting hit by that initially. <laughs> All right, let's let's try it again here. Ah. <laughs> no, old man Lobber isn't a bat, isn't a baddie or anything like that. Um, he's basically just been testing. I mean, this this uh, entirety of World Ten here, it's it's actually his creation. He created this to test you and to grow your skills. Yeah, that's what he was hinting at when he said that uh, he's been going easy on you. And uh, don't be surprised if this boss takes you a few tries to perfect, because there's a lot of things that you gotta do in order to get through this relatively unscathed. Like, you can't hit him more than once in that segment, but if you try, you're gonna take a hit, so you gotta know that. And also, you gotta dodge through things successfully, because he'll kill you otherwise if you, if you don't dodge through stuff like this. Just look for the largest gaps. Sometimes there aren't any when you gotta do some really precise swimming, but do your best. Uh, just conserve as much energy as possible. Just remember he's got this attack. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I win! Oh, I knew you had it in you. You truly are the Prince of Puff Top, destined to defend and honor her glory. Maybe you will, may you always rule with a kind and brave heart. This concludes your final test. And now, these, this old man needs to take a break. Larkity! What's that? You want more? No! No! Oh, don't take it easy on my account. Yeah, you can actually battle him right away and again. Right then and there, if you so desire. Uh, without like saving your game or recovering health you can do that as like a challenge to see how many times you beat him in a row without uh, recovering your health Chances are though you're not gonna do more than two or three uh, I mean, I'm sure you, I'm, there's people who can do like 10 or 20 But I'm saying chances are because of the difficulty of this boss. I mean I made it seem sort of easy But um, it's it's really not as easy as I made it look <laughs> <clears throat> Because there's, there's a lot more precision uh, than meets the eye. Anyway, I'm going to do this one more time here. I just wanted to see if there's any uh, different dialogue there. I don't think there's going to be. But it's a, it's a relatively fast boss if you know what you're doing. 
Ah, uh, because yeah. It, but, you know, old man Lobber here. Why Why was he not in the battle versus Mashtooth? Good lord. <clears throat> he, he, they, aren't, they aren't kidding when they say he's more powerful than Mashtooth. That, because Mashtooth doesn't have a one-hit kill attack. He does. <laughs> He, he's he's something else right here, and they hinted earlier in the game that he is a master fighter, if you recall that. So and and you're seeing it right here. <laughs> and like you see, I already took three hits in this fight, and yeah, I, I, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, here it comes. No, 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 hit him, hit him twice, hit him twice, hit him. No, no, dang it. Mm. You gotta hit him twice in there, otherwise he's gonna, he's gonna repeat a pattern, and he's gonna do this attack again. No! No! <laughs> well, looks like he won two out of three. I'll give him that. Clackity! <laughs> I love that attack, even though it destroys you. Alright. I'm done here. Actually, no, I'm not done here. I want to go back to... Actually, I should have hit continue and just went, just went back to the map. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I, I screwed up my throat there with Mucus doing his voice. Um, back to the map. The reason why I want to go back to the map is... Oh, wait, actually, I could have done it at the menu, couldn't I? Uh, but yeah, you can battle Old Man Lava here anytime you want and do a time attack on it. Uh, anyway. Uh, wait, what? Where is... Oh, what? Oh, I was hitting a start button for some reason. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, if you go to the story, uh, this is still not unlocked. How do we unlock it? Well, I guess we'll find out later. But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Yeah, we're not done yet. We still got stuff to show off in the case, such as the minigames, how to unlock. Ye old story there, yep, 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 we got more to do. So, toodaloo!